Crazy, man. Crazy story. Big, yeah, big story. All right. On to the second article here. When is McDonald's serving breakfast again? Like how we transition from like Facebook ads get to all McDonald's. Serious. I know. It was all serious. <laughs> like, I got real serious on this. Okay. This is kind of a little bit of a fun story, a little funny story. We like to bring all kinds of stuff to the table here in the A block. Oh, yes, we do. Um, we tried to go to McDonald's the other day. It was like 11 30, 12 o'clock, and we tried to get some breakfast. Well, wait a minute. Gino let's, and I. Let's, let's clarify. You were getting some breakfast. I was like, well, shoot, I'll get some lunch. Okay. <laughs> Come to find out, one of the local McDonald's here in the uh, San Francisco Bay Area, Silicon Valley, where we're broadcasting from, one of the McDonald's that Gino went to had a sign that said, we're no longer serving breakfast after 11 o'clock. Now, this is a big deal because uh, that used to be the policy in all McDonald's that they would stop serving breakfast at 11, if I'm not mistaken. Or 1030, something like that. Something like that. But then before COVID, there was a big reveal where they decided that they would, in fact, start serving breakfast all day long. You could get an Egg McMuffin at... 10 o'clock at night, and, I, and I, what's funny is I actually remember in celebration of that announcement, I went to a McDonald's and got an Egg McMuffin at like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> I, just wanted, I just wanted to test that out, and I was like so excited that I could get an Egg McMuffin like that late at night that I was like, oh, I'm doing that. Mm. Um, and it was the best damn Egg McMuffin ever, man, I got to say. So um, I was shocked when Gino was like texting me like, yeah, dude, they stopped serving breakfast at like, 11.30 at this one or 11, whatever it was. Oh, I thought you were going to get mad. <laughs> well, I was about to get mad until I realized that there's another McDonald's right down the street, as there tends to be many in a community. And I said, I bet you that other one probably has it at breakfast all day, right? Um, and sure enough, uh, Gino went to the other one, and yep, there was. It, there was breakfast at that one, right, all day long. So the funny thing here is, like, why did they stop, why did they stop serving breakfast all day? It's because of COVID. COVID hit, they, they trimmed back all their services. They're trying to have less food prep, less things, so less mm. spread germs, right? Makes sense. But now that a vaccine is out and available, three vaccines, in fact, there's really no excuse for McDonald's not to bring back the breakfast all day thing, okay? <laughs> and we just kind of find this a little bit comical as Gino's laughing over here because, and I've read some articles on this now, they're seriously debating maybe not bringing back breakfast all day. They have not come out and made an official announcement yet whether or not breakfast all day will return to every single franchise. And apparently, um, as was evident in our example, Hmm. some franchises have brought it back already and others are kind of going by the corporate, uh, I guess the corporate stance on it, if you will. So the corporation's stance on it is breakfast is done at, let's just say 10.30. Okay. Breakfast is done at 10.30. That's the corporate stance. So some franchises are still sticking to that. Other ones are like, nope, we're bringing it back. Egg McMuffins and hash browns all day if that's what you want. (laughs) This is so silly and random, but... You know, it just, I think, I think what's important to me, then I want to ask your opinion on this. What's important to me about this in the A block and this, to bring this up, I feel when COVID hit, you had all these people, all these services get, obviously had to be shut down for a while. Hmm. Okay. And now I kind of feel, but even during COVID, I, there was like some of these things that made like no sense to me at all. Um, I'm trying to think of some, some, some some examples here uh oh man there there was like a really funny one um that just made absolutely no sense to me it was like i went to like uh i went to like a store or something like that and and uh i bought it might have been like a a drug store or something like that i bought like something and the person's like oh um i can't give you a receipt because of covid i mean (laughs) i mean i just noticed like people making stuff up and using COVID as the crutch for why they could not do something, right? Wow. Um, or, you know, like, uh, uh, oh, I'm trimming back the hours or we're not offering that service right now because of COVID. Like, that's like the famous thing you started hearing everywhere. Um, you know, and anyways, now that the vaccines are available, when are all these businesses going to go back to pre-COVID stuff, right? Right. Like, I feel like they're still utilizing COVID as like a crutch 
for not having to offer certain things, right? Um, what's your thoughts on this, Gino? Because <laughs> um, there's no excuse for this. This is garbage. Well, first of all, every I, McDonald's should have breakfast 24 hours a day. Damn it! I just saw on Instagram. There's a girl that uh, went through, or a young woman who went through a Starbucks line, and she purposely did this with like no mask, and recorded herself and the barista or whatever at the drive-thru said like, Hey, I'm not going to give you your drink if you don't have a mask on, but here's a mask. I can give you a mask. And she just said, well, wait a minute now you can give me a mask, but you can't give me my drink. Right. So you talk about like ridiculous right. stuff. Right, right, right. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I have to quote my, uh, one of my favorite, uh, comedians right now, Bill Burr. And he did this fantastic thing about the same topic and what he was saying was, is that like, he just doesn't understand why there's breakfast 24 hours a day. Okay. Uh, so I, I heard that and I'm just like, you know what? I totally agree. Like, I mean, he even, he even goes further saying stuff like, look, it's not our fault that you stayed up with your friends all night partying to go to three o'clock in the afternoon for some pancakes. Not even your own mother would make you pancakes at three o'clock in the afternoon. Why can't you just get a burger? You know, so I, I agree with that logic. I mean, look, I can understand 11 o'clock. I can maybe understand pushing it to 12. But after that, I, I don't agree with it. I, I Look, <laughs> eat your breakfast when you have your breakfast. The only thing that really bugs me, actually, when it comes to McDonald's, and I, I just started going back to McDonald's recently. There was a, 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 probably 10 years I didn't touch it are the, the digital signs inside the restaurants. They keep moving around, and I can't see what's on the menu because they change so frequently. <laughs> That's what bugs uh, me. Okay, so your vote is is get rid of the 24-hour day breakfast. Absolutely. My vote is I love it, so we're going to have to agree to disagree on that. <laughs> I guess we'll pose the question again to our listeners here. You guys listening to this, watching this, Hope you found that bit comical, especially the Bill Burr thing. I, I hadn't seen that yet. That oh, sounds yeah, I'll show it to you afterwards. Hell. That sounds funny as hell. Um, why don't you guys drop us a line? Are you in favor of all-day breakfast? Are you eager to see it back at all McDonald's restaurants? Do you even eat at McDonald's? Maybe many of you don't. Who knows? Uh, or are you like Gino's stance over here, and you're like, get your ass up, get your breakfast at normal breakfast hours, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Comment, 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 comment. Let us know what you yeah, say. On YouTube or wherever you find wherever us. Wherever you're finding this show out right now. That's a wrap for the A Block. Now let's get you to the B Block. 